Hi guys, welcome back to the live session. My name is Upasana and this is our day 6 of uh December English challenge. So today I am going to take a surprise test. Dun, dun, dun. So we have been learning a lot of things for last couple of days but today there is a kind of test where i'm going to ask you 10 questions and let's see how many answers you can give correctly and keep on evaluating yourself so that you can see in the end how much you scored today okay so we are going to start our session very soon hi nitin hi happy to see you guys on time so every day i try to come on time but i usually get late so i'm so happy that i came on time hi ramdev hi shravan hi ishan hi kruba hi mohammad shahil hi ramdev good to see you guys on time i hope your day has been good so far okay so yesterday a lot of you uh, did a very great job so usually what you guys do you submit your assignment by recording your audio but uh yesterday you guys like a lot of you submitted your video and that was really amazing i really like this thing and what happened actually whenever you shoot your video you can work on your facial expressions you can see your confidence level and there are so many things so there are so many benefits of shooting your videos hi shahil thank you so much for joining guys hi ankita okay so let's start our session guys So in December English challenge today is a surprise test where I'm going to ask you some questions and hi Ankita so guys yesterday Ankita supported us with uh, supported us by doing Paytm or Google Pay I guess I think Paytm so thank you so much Ankita for that so uh, whenever I come live I teach you guys the december english challenge is free for everyone i am not charging anything but if you like my teaching style if you think that i am worth uh, trusting or i make learning fun then please support me by doing google uh, google pay paytm or anything so any support is much appreciated because i understand a lot of you can't pay for coaching classes and a lot of you are not learning english because you don't have anyone to practice with and you can't join any coaching class so that's why i have i have uh, i'm providing this december english challenge for free where i correct you uh, by uh, on your feedback on your assignments by giving you feedback and some suggestions and on every friday and saturday we conduct a zoom class okay so first question is riya dash in a big school let me show it too clearly riya dash in a big school let me see your comments Thank you so much Ankita all right once again okay so uh Shravan is saying it should be studies Randeep is saying study let's see how many of you can give the correct answer of this Riya dash in a big school so here we are talking about something that happens on the daily basis okay so a lot of you are saying okay Meenakshi is saying it should be study So let's see, guys. Our correct answer is what will be our correct answer? The correct answer here is Ria studies in a big school. Okay, Ria studies in a big school. If this were uh, this answer is correct, we are we will not use second form of the verb because uh, we here we are not talking about past. <coughs> so we are not talking about past. We are talking about something that happens. So Ria studies in a big school. so this sentence comes in present simple tense no jesus kruba it should be riya studies in a big school next question is this is a second question i'll text you dash i arrive home i'll text you dash i arrive home so there are three options on your screen as you can uh, see guys as soon as until since so please give your answer hi varun after a long time you joined live session i hope you are fine and everything is uh, good with you so i will text you dash i will arrive uh, i arrive home quickly write your answer okay so almost everyone is saying it should be as soon as neha is saying it should be until why do you guys think it should be until yeah randeep you can also send your video how can i send you video by clicking the link which is in the description box and you can send it in on whatsapp so uh, i will text you dash i arrive home 
as soon as a lot of you are saying it should be as soon as and yes your answer is correct the correct answer is as soon as i will text you as soon as i arrive home so this is the sentence that we use every day so in hindi we make several sentences but if you will think that what will be the english of this so you can you would be able to frame sentences in english as well so i will call you as soon as i arrive home i will send you this file as soon as i arrive home or as soon as i reach office so with the same sentence structure you can frame different sentences okay good job mm let's see our next question so this is our third question keep on evaluating yourself guys keep on evaluating yourself so that you can see in the end how much you could score out of 10 good job kavin ramdev okay so i explained everything but he did not dash okay i explained everything but he did not dash understood understands understand what do you guys think what what would be the correct answer here so ansari mohammed is ansari abzal is saying should be understood and understand understand okay a lot of you are saying it should be understand and a lot of you are saying it should be understood so this is a very common mistake that almost everyone make we never use a second form of the verb with did okay so our correct answer would be i explained everything but he did not understand but he did not understand let me explain here whenever we are uh, using did so we don't use second form of the verb this verb uh, verb will be simple understand i explained everything but he did not understand so this sentence is in the negative form but yes if it would be in the uh, sim, uh, affirmative form then we can use second form i explained everything but he understood but this sentence is in the negative form so it's understand not understood good job guys let's see our next question so this is our next question rahul dash to spain last year rahul dash to spain last year so here we are talking about past and on the screen you can see three options are available okay went go gone rahul dash to spain last year so uh, okay shravan is saying it should be went 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 okay almost everyone is saying went good job joshna ankita nitin computer new series usha rani okay usha rani thank you so much for joining i hope you learn something new so rahul went to spain last year yes guys the correct answer would be went why it would be went because this uh, in this sentence we are talking about past incident so rahul went to spain when last year so went went is the second form of go good job keep on evaluating yourself third uh, fourth one i have just dash my dinner i have just dash my dinner so again there are three options available eat eat eaten i have just dash my dinner eaten okay shush jpr is saying it should be eaten why it should be eaten can you guys explain why it should be eaten and a lot of you are saying it should be ate ansari afzal and sahil akhtar and hifza is saying it should be eat why do you guys think can you understand can you let me know what what is the reason so here as you can see i have just dash my dinner so with has and have we always use third form of the verb and the third form of eat is eaten so the correct answer would be eaten i have just eaten my dinner i have just eaten my dinner good job you guys let's see we are the sentence is present perfect tense good job shravan i have just eaten my dinner renisa it should be eaten i have just eaten so renisa we never use second form with has and have our next question is if you were not coming you should have dash me if you were not coming you should have dash me so this is a sentence we use several time several time we use this kind of sentence if you were not eating food you should have dash me so sentence there are so many sentence yeah good job prashant so prashant is saying eaten because it's just completed good job so informed okay if you are not coming you should have informed me 
ओके इफ यू आर नॉट ईटिंग यू शुड हैव इन्फॉर्म्ड मी और इफ यू आर नॉट ऑर्डरिंग फ्रॉम आउटसाइड यू शुड हैव कुक्ड एट होम सो विद द सेम सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर वी कैन मेक सेवरल सेंटेंसेस उज्जवल गुड जॉब रिंकू इन्फॉर्म्ड ओके गुड जॉब रिंकू इन्फॉर्म्ड ओके शाहिल अख्तर सो इफ यू आर नॉट कमिंग यू शुड हैव इन्फॉर्म्ड मी गुड जॉब गुड जॉब का let's see our next question so the correct answer was informed if i had more money i dash buy a car if i had more money i dash buy a car what do you guys think what could be the perfect fit for uh, for this sentence will would want to okay rinku <laughs> i'm happy you liked it okay so renisa is saying would mohammad ishal rinku would okay if i had more money i would buy a car this way you will make sentences or you can say if i had a television so i would watch it and uh, if i had a mixer grinder i would have prepared this dish so this way you can make several sentences yes the correct answer would be would if i had more money i would buy a car good job so uh, the answer of this question has given correct by almost everyone good job you all so almost everyone has given the correct answer great job guys next question okay so our next question is <coughs> it's a bit tricky you smell nice what perfume dash you wearing you smell nice what perfume dash you wearing so a lot of time it happens when we are uh, traveling in a metro or when we are sitting in a classroom uh, we like the fragrance of someone's perfume but we don't know how should we ask in english we don't know how how do we ask in english that which perfume is it okay so what is the perfect way are you wearing are you wearing yes good job kavish kanak do you wear no good try do you wear no renisa so right now we are talking about something that is right now okay are you wearing are you wearing you smell nice what perfume are you wearing <coughs> hi sultan good job ansari afzal saif sahil akhtar bupen are you wearing so yes the correct answer will be you smell nice what perfume are you wearing good job you all let's see our next question he dash go to the office on saturdays okay he dash go to the office on saturdays <coughs> keep on evaluating yourself guys he dash go to the office on saturdays quickly write your answer he doesn't okay minakshi uh, shush varun mohammad ansari indresh <coughs> Anita, I think it's Anita. Okay, I'm so sorry for mispronouncing your name, Miss Anita. He doesn't go to the office on Saturdays. He doesn't go to office, so we will not use the here. It is by mistake. I'm so sorry for that. So he doesn't go to the go to office on Saturdays. He doesn't go to office on Saturdays. Uh, Gajapati. Okay, good job. Usha Rani. Good job. So this answer is given correct by everyone. he doesn't go to office on saturday on saturdays good job guys let's see our next question i have been living here dash 10 years i have been living here dash 10 years so there are two options since and for so uh, <coughs> i i don't know what's happening in my throat i have been living here dash 10 years okay so a lot of you are saying it should be since so renisa why it should be since can you explain the reason why it should be since for okay now let me explain guys why, what what will we use here so you, a lot of you are confused here whether we should use since or whether we should use uh, for so i have been living here for 10 years the correct answer would be for 10 years why it would be for because there is no particular time we don't know about the particular year if i say that i have been living in noida 
for 2000 since 2018 so i know the exact year but here 10 years so i don't know the perfect uh, year when did i come here so we will use for here i have been living here for 10 years uh, some more sentences i would like to give you here uh, i can say i have been waiting for you for 4 hours for 4 hours but i don't know when the time started so i will say i have been waiting for you for 10 for for four hours but if i'm saying that i have been waiting for you since 2 o'clock since 2 o'clock it means i'm talking about the particular time right so i hope you guys understood it let's see so that's all about today's live session now quickly let me know how much you guys could score how much you guys uh, guys could score please let me know till the time let me drink water so please let me know how much you guys could score today and 3 okay kanak kanak not bad okay good job <clears throat> mohammad shail is giving uh, an example here i have been learning english for 10 years not bad 8 out of 10 nitin not bad good job all correct i'm not sure whether you guys two wrong okay no problem so kruba is saying it should uh, like 3 out of 10 good try not uh, wish you all the best for next time ramdev 9 out of 10 great who has who has scored 10 out of 10 six neeru okay ishan is saying two wrong seven okay youtube kr tube okay nine out of 10 ramdev eight out of 10 kavin okay good job i attempted only uh, where was the question, uh, sentence nine out of nine good job varun but i didn't see your answers are you uh, are you lying 10 okay sanneha okay but a lot of you didn't answer i couldn't see your comments guys so i'm not sure whether you are telling lie or you are saying the truth okay good job 10 out of 10 meet okay guys good job if you have scored good then it's completely fine but if you have just scored uh, very less marks then i wish you all the best for next time okay so what what is the assignment for tomorrow uh tomorrow you need to prepare a motivational speech of 3 minutes for delivering in zoom class on saturdays and on sundays so as i have told you already that i come live thrice in a week tuesday wednesday and thursday okay so tomorrow uh, there was supposed to be a zoom class but it would be on saturday and sunday now and i would like to clear one thing here that on saturday the class would be for the people who had submitted their assignment of 3 days and uh, they are active on the live sessions as well so it would be for them i would try to invite almost everyone this time who have submitted their assignment so be ready for the zoom class for the zoom class and uh, prepare a motivational speech of 3 minutes for delivering in the class and on sunday the class would be for members only so zoom class would be for members so uh, if you guys like my teaching style or if you want to join the membership then uh, you will see a button beside the uh, subscribe button so you can join my channel and uh, that's all best performances are in isa i was supposed to upload it i will try to upload as soon as possible actually i was a bit engaged in other things so i would surely be मैम जूम क्लास कहाँ से ज्वाइन करें सो नीरू फॉर दैट यू नीड टू ज्वाइन अवर दिसंबर इंग्लिश चैलेंज यू नीड टू सबमिट योर असाइनमेंट एवरी डे एंड यू नीड टू देन ओनली वी विल सेंड यू द जूम क्लास लिंक ऑन व्हाट्सएप ओके गुड जॉब गाइस रियली लाइक ओके हाय सुनीता hi so guys sunita kadwasra is a very uh, good student i really appreciate her she lives in a village but still she is really willing to learn a lot of things uh, although no one speaks english in her village but she is the only girl who is trying to speak i really appreciate you sunita i really appreciate you thank you so much for joining and uh, okay one more time 
thank you so much ankita for supporting us so guys if you like the teaching style of mine or if you think that i am a i am a person who helps you by uh, like as of now i am not charging anything the uh, this december english challenge and the classes are free these days so if you think that i am doing something worth supporting then please support me by doing google pay phone pay or uh, paytm or anything you can see the uh, baris ko uh you can see this here and you can support uh, me by doing paytm google pay or anything you like okay guys thank you so much for joining the live session that's all about today's live session um i'll see you very soon be ready for the zoom class prepare a motivational speech bye bye take care